Hello everybody, I'll show you what's going on in this video. So this is the Spanish trying to take a pirate port. So the port they're trying to take is, which is on the screen now, La Guanja, or whatever it's spelled, I've got terrible pronunciation. And what you're seeing there is the enemy port battle fleet. Now, they are in shallow water fifth rate ships, which consists of surprises and Pandoras and things. And currently, you can see me in a fourth rate Ratsy van. I purposely made that ship quite speedy, as generally shallow water fifth rate ships are much quicker, as they're a smaller, more agile ship. So I had to attempt to get an edge on them so I can actually do something. Now, so the situation is they're sailing to the port itself to try and take it. And with that in mind, uh, me and a couple of buddies went to go and try to intercept them from actually getting there. Now this is called screening, if you're unaware. And we were quite successful, actually. We managed to stop them from getting into the port itself, but there were several battles and severely pissed off Spanish players <laughs> as they eventually chased me down which you'll see in this video but so this is the first battle where we successfully tagged them um, when uh, that it popped up on the screen saying the conquest for such and such has started at that point the enemy had an hour and a half to win at that port battle now us doing this has prevented them from joining as long as we can keep them in the fight, which means that they're a lot less likely to actually win the port battle itself. Now, the port battle was manned up and crewed. We had lots of players in there um, from the nation. Uh, so they were prepared to fight it, which is wonderful, as you should expect anyway. But yes, yeah, so just to avoid the whole situation in the first place, we went out to tag them and prevent the port battle from happening in the first place. Now we had no idea if this was going to be successful. We couldn't even see the fleet until a minute before the port battle was due to start. So thankfully we intercepted them and dragged them into a fight which it didn't matter if we won or lost. Our role there was just to delay them. So at this point you can see me just trying to pop them off a little bit. You know, just keep them in wasn't a definite plan at this point, it wasn't a very organised attack, it was just a case of, right, grab them and drag them into a fight and we'll see what happens and take it from there. You see me typing in nation chat saying that we've tagged the fleet, letting the others know that we've actually managed to grab them, giving them time. If you're unaware, port battle works where one team has to get 1,000 points before the other or if the timer gets to an hour and a half then the defenders automatically win. You can get points by capturing three circles and holding them and you can also gain points by sinking enemy ships. So by us doing this, delaying time, it allowed our members in the port battle to grab the circles and get some points. So at this point, I was being tickled quite a bit. I mean, the enemy, I would have thought that it was going to go for the carronades, seeing as they were in shallow water fifth rates, but turns out they went for mediums and a few long guns. And I thought, right, well at that point, I'm not really going to get anywhere. Just sat there, so I thought I'm going to go and try and board one of them. I had a massive crew advantage. I quite like boarding, so I kind of went steamrolling in there. And... At that point in time, the enemy fleet seemed quite passive, just trying to stick together as they want. They really wanted to get to the port battle itself. Now uh, there was a straggler down there, Lion Shaft. A uh, buddy of mine, Dread, was chasing him down, so I thought I might even try and board him, just eliminate one or two. That was the plan, at least, and because the fleet wasn't going to separate, they were just going to stick together. So I was hoping just to whittle one or two of them out, reducing the whole port battle fleet in general. So at this point the enemy fleet was still in 
trying to disengage as such, not necessarily in an active fight. That's Rook in the distance, one of our clan mates. And Dread is floating around near him as well. He's not on screen currently, but he's there. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to try and board one of these lot from behind. As you can see, I've got prep boarding up. And the enemy was currently being very defensive and just sailing away. Oh, there's Dread there. So it's at this point where you see all the enemy ships in front of me turning where they then decided to engage properly which kind of screwed me over. I was very close to them and you'll see that they worked very well together in actually eliminating me straight away. I took a lot of hits, the distance was close so I could easily eat up all of the cannons that they decided to throw my way. I attempted to board this guy but I mucked it up a little bit because I was just getting hammered. If I'd have grabbed him in boarding that would have been nice. I'd have probably taken that ship. Fortunately, he got away. I was then stuck in irons and all the enemy fleet had turned to engage so I was getting hammered and I decided to try and get out of there at that point. So that's how quickly things can turn around. Caught me by a surprise in that one. I got quite comfortable thinking the enemy were just trying to get away and get to the port battle but we turned to engage properly. Lots of bits flying off me boat there as it gets shattered to pieces. As you can see on the map, there's not many of us and we're all scattered around. This is literally just to engage the enemy fleet, prevent them from getting in the port battle itself. If you're unaware, this is going to be another voiceover recording. So you might hear the odd thing that my phone going off like that just there. Yeah, this is a, a new one for me is this. I did a, a voiceover on my last video. But uh, with the software I've got I couldn't really see which part it was up to. So what I've had to do is I've had to play the video and do a voiceover as well. So hopefully it should be a bit better. I muted my voice and everybody else's voice in the game itself, which was a mistake that I did in the, in the other recording, so hopefully now I've figured out how to do that. If I do a voiceover, it shouldn't be too bad anymore. If you did watch the uh, previous video, which was the 150 tips, please let me know in the comments on either this video or that video what you thought of it. That would be much appreciated. There you go. Sank. Didn't take too long. Once they all turned and engaged, they got me pretty good. So I stayed in the battle just to get some nice viewing shots. I picked out the best of the bunch, I thought. This game really is a nice, nicely detailed game. I do like it. The only thing I would wish for is that there was more crew on the decks of the ship, that would be a very nice touch. It would be great if you could see people getting blown to bits when cannonballs hit them. I suppose that would be a bit more on the gory side though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Some nice views.
trimmed this video down. It was originally around two hours long. I also considered speeding it up. If um, if you would have liked that to, uh, this to be sped up, because the game can be a little bit slow at times, but it's, there's a lot going on at the moment, so it's not too bad. But if um, if you would have liked to watch, say, this video, but sped up, um, let me know in the comments, as I did consider it, but I didn't think it quite looked as good. Badger from Glory being hunted down down there. The clan I'm in right now is OP4S. Yeah, they're a good bunch of people. They play many games, and uh, yeah, an old mate of mine that I've sailed with for several years made their own clan. And I thought, yep, yeah, I'll have a go at that. And so far, I've been really enjoying it. It's been good. You can see me in uh, just trying to communicate uh, that dude which is trying to talk to me is in the port battle itself I believe and then just sat there waiting around watching the point numbers go up while we actually engage the port battle fleet I think that's dread finally sinking With these voiceover recordings, again, if you could let me know if um, the voice is clear, in, my voice is clear enough and loud enough for you. Okay, so once that battle ended, I thought, okay, I'm going to come out. As you can see, coming out of Novitas. I don't know if you saw it very quickly. Um, I did flash that one out quite quick. But the uh, it's the port north of Novitas. If you're in the game. Have a look, that's uh, where this is happening, and we managed to tag the enemy fleet again, this time in a leopard. I only had a temporary outpost at Nervitas. So uh, a DLC was required. So that first battle I think lasted for maybe half an hour, something like that, which means that the enemy fleet... Oh no, no, it did last quite a long time. So, okay, so they failed to capture it there at that point. There was no chance of them actually capturing the port. So now this was a bit more of a, okay, what can we actually do here? This again was a fast build for the Leopard. It's a nice boat, but I prefer the Ratsy ran over it. It is actually slower than the Ratsy van. At some point that got changed. This used to be one of the fastest fourth rates in the game. see things are forming up a little bit better now our current problem was that um because we've got a bit of a mixed bunch in the battle itself there is myself dread uh rook or Ro I, I've, I can't really say his name i've never figured it out properly said with plenty of times but i still can't say his name properly and a couple of members from i think one was i think badger was still in here from Glory, um, you'll be able to see it a bit better than what I can because I've got it on a little screen. 
So yeah, we didn't actually have voice communication with them. We were just trying to set up a basic battle line. I got focused a bit. As you can see, my right side got damaged, so I had to pull out there. Yeah, so I did a full loop just to come back around while I did a bit of a repair and try and get back in there. So the enemy fleet were quite scattered, however, they were in relatively quick ships and they've obviously sailed together quite a while. Bork is a older clan from war uh, from the war server, so we'll have lots of experienced players in there, which will sail together for quite a long time. They covered each other very well. Once one of them got targeted, they would assist each other, resulting them resulting in them not losing very many people at all. I think we got Nemo. Um, we sank Lion Shaft in the previous battle. Uh, I don't know if we sank any more people than that, to be honest. So at this point, we've seen that there was a couple of enemies that isolated themselves just up here, look. Our problem was that the enemy had wind advantage, so we couldn't just dive upon a couple of them, so we had to try and be a bit clever. The enemy did see it, however, which meant that we didn't actually get one of them. Or did we? I can't actually remember, but they must have sank later on. I know one of them did. Their ship's been very agile. I only had medium guns on. It would have been more favourable if I had long guns, but it is what it is at this stage. Again, I only had a temporary outpost, and I just needed to get there quick, so it didn't really matter. see the enemy got into a better combat formation which uh, meant that the two ships that we targeted got absorbed into the rest of their fleet and were no longer accessible for us to destroy. Difficult to pick a specific target Again, the enemy fleet did perform very well and slowly whittled us down. They were in shallow water fifth rate, so generally were quite speedy, which definitely caught out a couple of the people that we were with. Very agile. I went to get a shot on that dude, but turned into me. I wouldn't have really done anything so I had to go for that ship over there at this point the Bork fleet were quite pissed off as you will see later in the video you will see just how aggroed we made the Spanish see a couple of our players, pirate players were in amongst, got absorbed, eaten into the enemy fleet and just got blown to bits. At this point it was a case of the job is done, maybe we should think about attempting to get away as we clearly didn't have the advantage and we would all be slowly whittled down.
See, long guns would have been nice at that range. At this point, it was definitely an attempt to start getting away. We're trying to prioritise targets, but again, it's very difficult when you're the one actually trying to get away. And they had the wind advantage, so that guy that we need to shot down there, he uh, we can't just dive down on them, which is why it is important to attempt to get the wind advantage. But that wasn't the main priority when we were tagging the enemy fleet, as we just wanted them to uh, to stop them from getting to the port, preventing the port battle itself. So that ship, whoever that is, I can't see it on the little screen, he did sink. We managed to actually focus one down, which was very good. I don't think I actually got any good shots on him there. I think I missed, but I had to try and rush it. Yeah, just a little sure. Again, lack of long guns there hurting me. At this point, you'll see me and Dread uh, doing interlocking S's. So we can cover each other, get some fire down at the same time. If you are being chased, it is one of the best manoeuvres that you can do. The enemy actually started switching tactics. They started going for chain, going for the sails, which stops you from manoeuvring. As you can see, interlocking S with the switching plate. At and spaces again and able to get some fire down at this point I think Dread was sail shocked which means he cannot turn the sails which kind of buggered up the thing so we couldn't actually do our S manoeuvre and eventually, that is what got Dread whittled down. I could no longer support him. He got wandered off that way. The enemy fleet, as you can see, starting to smash him to bits. Nothing they could do, unfortunately, but just keep shooting. So Dread back there now is slowly being absorbed into the fleet. So it's a case of trying to get maximum speed now. If you do manual sails, you can get a much higher speed than if you do automatic sails. There is a knack to it. If you want to know what that knack is, then please do something in the comments and I will attempt to show you. 
So eventually I got out. And I thought, okay, I'll go back to port. Thinking the enemy fleet would just sail back up to Kao Romano. Turns out they were all trying to chase me down as I'd clearly put a bee in their bonnet. And were going to deny me from getting back into the port. So there you go. One of their ships tagged me. So they got me in. There wasn't as many of them in there. And I just went full speed and gradually got out. They did attempt to slow me down. Those are the players that tagged me. You can see they couldn't catch me and again got out of that battle and they tagged me again. I had to actually tag them to prevent them from getting too close to me. Which meant I had the wind advantage of what I needed to actually get away. As you can see, they're hitting my masts there, which was a bit worry worrying, but I couldn't let up. One against five doesn't usually end too well. I just had to go for the full speed again. see they couldn't catch me but they did get a few good hits on me in the sails they actually got me in the sail shot which slowed me down so it did get a little bit sketchy again sail shot slows me right down that one over there is the the bigger ship is a ratsy van Lion Shaft from the first battle actually came back in a very speedy Ratsy van, probably a Bermuda Bermuda. This was a clever trick. He fired his broadside and I manoeuvred, so he just about missed, preventing me from getting back into sail shock and losing lots of speed. So I think that one got me out of that. And again, they tagged me again after getting out of that. But this time I wasn't just going to sail away. There was, they were too close for that. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to go for a hopeful surprise boarding. However, in the uh, madness of it all, I don't recall getting my crew um, numbers up. I'm not sure what the enemy was think, what Lion Shaft was thinking there, but he obviously thought I was just going to go for the full speed run away again, but that wasn't the intention. I had to try and make sure that it wasn't too obvious, and I didn't want them to hear the boarding whistle, so I engaged boarding before the battle started, just to hide my intention. So I had lots of great bloated boarding ready. I was hoping to quickly board this, sink it, and then hopefully try and attempt to get out again, because this ship was the ship that was actually starting to catch up to me, or at least keep up, causing me some problems. However, we encountered a problem. Broke off the Ratsivan's bow sprit there. which put me in a good position. Fired off the grate, murdered lots of the crew. The problem was that I still didn't have enough crew to board Lion Shaft as he had a perk called Determined Defender. There you go, it's on screen, cannot board. So I needed to get his crew down more, so I was hoping to try and get another grape shot off to reduce it further 
as you can see, I'm just trying to stick to him as best as I can. I was in a very nice position for graping him. You saw how effective the first salvo was. You saw the speed increasing though. Still trying to slow him down, but in the end decided it probably wasn't going to happen. Need to be 3.5 knots or below to initiate a boarding. And I couldn't keep him there. So I decided to let him go. Which you'll see in a moment. Yeah, there you go. Let him go and hopefully get some grape on his ass while he's doing the pass by. Unfortunately, it didn't do a whole lot, to be honest. But regardless, I was free and still boarding ready. If you've watched any of my other videos, even on the uh, how-to videos, you'll see that I do like to do plenty of boarding. So at this point I was still hopeful that I would actually be able to board this ship in front of me. Taking the wind. But I would still need to reduce the crew, which was proving difficult. Just wanted to stick to him a little bit, which prevented them from turning into me trying to get another grape shot off. I should have done a convergence here, but I didn't. I kept it on water. Again, not enough. Need to get further in there. I was hoping to get another shot off on the from the uh, the other broadside. Actually quite cautious here or weary of the enemy doing a grape shot themselves. Now, as you can see, the chain coming at me. So, they were buying for time at this point. He was just trying to slow me down as best he can, which he, he did do. I'm in sail shock, so I can't maneuver my sails, which prevented me from getting into a good boarding position as well. While his buddy's caught up. So as you can probably tell, I know, I'm, I know that I'm in a bit of a pickle here. As soon as the battle started, I knew that I would be. But my aim was all the same. Try and board one and sink one. I was not expecting to survive this one by any means. I just wanted to take one down with me. trying my absolute best to catch up to him but it wasn't happening I saw this opportunity as well as a potential boarding but his crew was still too high unfortunately Slowing right down to try and initiate it. But again, he still had too high of a crew. And the grape shot wasn't very effective that time, so he got away from me again. Which is a bit gutting, but it is what it is.
At this point, I thought I'd switch target and try and go for this dude here. I think it was blatantly aware what my intention was though at this point so I think their entire fleet was a bit more prepared for it. Still going for my sails and the hull is now being hammered. There we go. Main mast is down. That certainly didn't do me any favours. Surprised that they stayed up for that long, to be completely honest. So I was in sail shock, but I was still adamant I was going to try and board somebody. Didn't have the speed to keep up with him, still in sail shock. Oh no, that's crew shock now, isn't it? I can wiggle my sails around, I think. It's hard to tell with the little screen. I had uh, another opportunity as well as I was on fire. You can let it spread by telling your crew not to deal with it. Another option was to explode and try and take some of them out. That would eliminate crew and sails. It may not have finished them off completely though, but at least I had to go out in a bang. So I'll let that fester. Then I saw an opportunity to take a boarding pop at this one. There you go. Pulled him in. Or at least attempting to. Just about getting away from me there. Still letting the fire fester. It's really going up now. Managing to pull him in. Just about. There we go. Managed to actually initiate the boarding. At this point I thought, do I keep the fire on? thought, no, I'll turn it off, because if I do blow up, then I won't have any crew left to finish this boarding. So I figured that they would go and fire deck guns, which they did. If I would have kept my attack on while they did the fire deck guns, I certainly would have lost that immediately. And they would have sat on defend, I believe. I had the crew advantage. In that situation, you can just sit on defend. And I nearly had him, but you can see his friends coming in to give him a hand. So close to taking him out there, but his buddy managed to push me off, as you can see. Boarding interrupted, absolutely gutted. One more round and I reckon that would have been it, or two, so 60 seconds and I would have won that. That was a close one. I wish I do, I really do wish I'd have managed to take him out. At that point, <laughs> my ship's pretty much done. Barely any crew. Masts are gone. Not much I can actually do left.
<laughs> Another bar of sprit gone. I think that's three in this battle alone that got taken out. I'm trying to ram my ship there. I was hoping I'd set back on fire, but that just didn't happen. So yeah, that is what happens when you piss off the Spanish and deny them access to a port battle that they were hoping to take. If you stuck around this long, thank you. I hope the video has been enjoyable for you to watch. Quite lucky I was recording actually. So this is a, uh, a first for me doing this kind of video while playing the game. If you'd like to see more of this type of video, do let me know in the comments. And if you like it, I'll do some more. I'll record the things that I do floating about. I'll slowly watch my demise. Slowly getting filled up with water now. I can't actually remember if I get canoed. Oh, there's the front. Back one won't be so far off. My ship's now fucked. <laughs> there's no way I'm getting out of that. But, four or five players taking me out. That was a. I enjoyed all that. It was really good, to be honest. Doesn't matter if you lose ships in this game, you can always get ships. Yes, I used DLC in this one, but... I mean, I paid for them a few years ago, I might as well use them, haven't I? Yeah, there was no way I was winning that boarding. <laughs> I didn't have enough crew left. Regardless, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope to see you in other videos that I've done, hopefully. Stick around, I'll be doing some more. If you've got any ideas you want, any information that you want, let me know in the comments and I will endeavour to do a video covering that topic. If you want more like this, do tell me. Bit of a new adventure for this one is this. Lovely. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.